What is going on guys? Justin here. Big news in the world of Children of the Corn. If you are a fan of Children of the Corn, first of all, this Arrow release that they put out is an amazing way to own this movie if you don't own it already. Tons of special features, fantastic restoration. It's from 2K restoration. Um, if you didn't know they're remaking this, surprise, not only are they remaking it, it's done and it's being screened. Uh, we got news yesterday. This is according to bloodydisgusting.com. Unbeknownst to us, it looks like Kurt Wimmer's new take on Stephen King's Children of the Corn new take. Ugh. A film with safety protocols in place during the pandemic has already been released in theaters arriving in two Sarasota, Florida locations over the weekend. What I imagine these probably were, possibly a test screening or a focus group. So the version of the movie that rolls out in the next couple months, I'm not sure if it'll be the same version that everybody else sees. Um, being that it's such a strange location in Sarasota, Florida at two random theaters makes me think this is probably a focus group, probably a test screening, maybe some snips and cuts and changes might possibly happen. Uh, we don't know. Brought to our attention by Club Stephen King and the Herald Tribute, the film is currently playing at CMX Cine Bistro and Burns Court Cinema, both theaters located in Sarasota. Also, along with this announcement, it looks like we have the first piece of art and a cast photo. Now, as it said in the first little description, it looks like this is going to be a different take or reimagining. It looks to me like the only thing that's children of the corn about this is the name. It doesn't look like they're adhering to any similarities of the movie, the previous movies, or the actual book that it was based on. It says here, in Wimmer's movie, which is said to have very little to do with Stephen King's novel, that's just fantastic, a psychopathic 12-year-old girl in a small town in Nebraska recruits all the other children and goes on a bloody rampage, killing the corrupt adults and anyone else who opposes her. A bright high schooler who won't go along with the plan is the town's only hope of survival. And of course, we have the new poster art, which doesn't look great. Uh, the Photoshop on those heads, rather, they just look like they're screen caps from the uh, from the movie, <laughs> which is kind of fun. So, I don't know, this is a mixed bag. Being that this isn't a property I lie, enjoy, don't get me wrong, I enjoy the movie. Um, this isn't one of those properties that I hold near and dear to my heart. Um, when I heard remake, I thought, okay, this is one of the few movies that are popular, but um, does have its flaws. As far as acting and just uh, cinematic quality, it could have used an upgrade. It doesn't look like this is going to be the cinematic upgrade that anybody was asking for. Um, it looks like a low budget, loosely based on namesake, reboot, cash grab kind of a deal. Maybe it'll have some cool gore, maybe it'll have some cool scenes. We really don't know, but the plan here is to expand to more theaters in the coming weeks. As you know, 2020, is crazy so a few weeks could turn into a few months could turn into next year but what do you guys think about a remake of children of the corn yes no maybe so could it be good is it gonna be terrible I'm curious to hear your guys thoughts um, as well as all the slew of remakes and reboots that we're gonna have next year I mean like I said we have the child's play series by Don Mancini uh, coming directly from him we have a Hellraiser TV series we have the two Halloween movies so much so much coming out next year it's just kind of crazy next year is going to be crazy for horror that's for sure 21 2020 kind of sucked but for us horror fans, maybe 2021 will offer some cool shit for us to watch. Some bloody carnage to feast our eyes upon and satisfy our horror. Whoa! And <laughs> satisfy our, our horror need. Guys, that is all I got today. Pete says bye-bye. He says stay weird. And until next time, bye. I love movies. Gosh, I love movies. I love watching them, and I love making them. Nah, I can't do it. <laughs>